Festival Cream Fields, because that's cream in the title, and because I find house music offensive. <laughs> and uh, there's a club in Belfast called Milk, I don't go to that, can't have it. I also have never been to see the 1920s musical The Boyfriend, because I can't have one of those. <laughs> but what I can have is the off Broadway sequel, Ex Boyfriend's Best Friend, that I enjoyed. <laughs> and so, hi, are you well? Are we good? Yeah. Woo! Cool, right. So, was Valentine's Day this week? Who had a good time on Valentine's Day? Give me hands up. Who had a good time on Valentine's Day? Yeah. <laughs> hands down. Who's in a relationship? Give me hands up. Okay, hands down. Who's single? Hands up. Hands down. Who had a time on Valentine's Day? Hands up. Okay, hands down. Who thinks I'm doing this for the fun? <laughs> because it's nice to see you put your hands up and down. Because sometimes it's what I find funny. Really. <laughs> um, so, this Valentine's Day, I spent it in a place called Wolverhampton. You ever been to Wolverhampton? Oh, Say meh. Yeah. <laughs> Which is uh, what everyone says in Wolverhampton, really. Like, if you've ever been there, stayed there, drove past there, meh. Fun facts about Wolverhampton. Uh, it's where they invented hopelessness. <laughs> it's also where they invented curry in a tin because microwaving an instant one takes a bit too much joie de vivre and uh, another fun fact about Wolverhampton if you've ever been there you'll probably argue this with me but they don't have any restaurants there isn't a single restaurant what they do have is a Nando's <laughs> And I will argue to the death that Nando's is not a restaurant. It is KFC if KFC was fancy. <laughs> and no, getting my own drink is not a novelty. I'm not 12. I'm lazy as fuck. Bring me my Fanta. <laughs> um, so I spent my Valentine's Day in a Weatherspoons in Wolverhampton. You've never, felt, you've never seen loneliness like it. There is a, there's guys there and like they're about a hundred, and they're rubbing themselves and they're eating curry out of a tin. <laughs> that wasn't really a joke, it was just, I've never had a callback before. And uh, I mentioned it before and I'm enjoying it. So that's my callback, I love it. And uh, no, so I spent it in Weatherspoons. So, very clearly I'm, very clearly I'm single. And uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. The biggest one is, I'm passive aggressive as fuck. Like, uh, there was one guy. And he was lovely. And uh, I was annoying him. And when I say I was annoying him, I was fucking him, but like that's the same thing. <laughs> and uh, I used to do this thing where I'd wait till we were falling asleep. And like he was just about to fall asleep and I'd sort of go, what would you choose if you had to have any kind of kitchen utensil as a hand? <laughs> if you have a whisk, that's gay. I have a tin opener from a curry, from a curry, call back. <laughs> if you had 10 favourite names for a unicorn, what would they be? And then I list all my ex-boyfriends to see if he notices. <laughs> and uh, that's how I ended up single. And so I've been single for a while now. And my friends are giving me suggestions. They're like, well, go traveling. Now you've got free time, go traveling. I can't go traveling. See if I turn up in Japan. Think the fucking size of me. They're gonna think I'm Godzilla. <laughs> and uh, then they're like, get, get a pet, get a pet. That's companionship, because apparently I have a suicide risk. And uh, so the pet that you would get if you know, you're a spinster is you get a cat. Okay, I can't see this very well, right? But if anyone has a cat, give me a shout. 
Okay, cool. Voices over here. Right, your cat. Did you buy it or did you, like, well, how did you get the cat? A friend gave it. You what? A friend gave it. Fine haters. I don't. I, I'm, I'm foreign. Like I don't understand what you say. What? We got it for friend. Oh, you got it for friend. Yeah. Did you pay for it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Just stole it. <laughs> do they? Do they know we have it? Or just yeah. come in the middle of the night with a sack? Yeah. <laughs> what? They visit occasionally. Oh, lo lovely. <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, lucky. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a stand up and kind of a monologue, but we'll come back to it. Um, <laughs> I got my cat at a rescue centre. Yeah, I did the good thing and I thought I'd go and I'll see if I can. Have you ever been to one of those things? They're horrific. You go into the room and you think like, they think the cats are going to be cute, but they look like what cats would look like if cats did heroin. <laughs> like you turn on the light and they all go, and like Johnny Cash Hurt is playing in the background. <laughs> you get the one that looks least disease ridden, you bring it home, it vomits blood all over your carpet. It doesn't have any good unicorn names. Yeah, it fucks off to find a demon. And that's how I end up in Wolverhampton on Valentine's Day. And uh, uh, that's all I have about that. Do you want to hear a joke? Yes. Like, I know it's like stand up, that's the point, but I have a joke. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of over. Uh, so, I bought Bonnie Tyler's car on eBay. It's a piece of shit, every now and then it falls apart. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm near the end, but uh, I thought I'd finish with something special to make me stand out, because I'm not foreign enough. Um, okay, so here's me. Alright, can you see at the back? Yeah? Okay, this is me. And this is what you look like to me. Okay, this has been lovely. And uh, this is, where's the Peter? <laughs> Which one's the Peter? <laughs> cool. I have severe daddy issues. The spears. And uh, this is the laughter that in 